for yourself, for us to reflect upon during Mass as we prepare ourselves to receive my blessed soul and divinity of Christ as we go and leave here for the rest of the day to contemplate on this question, not just today, but the rest of the week. What is your pearl of great price? What is the treasure that you seek? The treasure that you're willing to, to leave behind everything? Your dreams, your aspirations. Your house, your car, your family. What is the pearl of great price that you would not let go of that pearl of great price, even if all that other stuff was taken away? Something to think about today. What is the treasure that you truly seek? This is the love story of my mom and my dad. My dad went off and joined the Navy early on in his life. He was assigned down to an aircraft carrier and he was a mechanic on the jets and he really enjoyed being around the planes. And so while he was in the Navy, his his whole goal was to save up money so that when he left the Navy that he would be able to take flying lessons and be, maybe even be able to buy a plane and, and fly. His freedom. That was his goal in life when he was in his early 20s. He came home to Iowa and then fell in love. Met a woman and fell in love. His dreams of flying lessons and owning a plane didn't mean much anymore. So he bought an engagement ring with that money. It was the pearl of great price for him at that point in time of his life. I'm sure you can share the same love stories and maybe even top that one. It's a beautiful love story. What is the ultimate love story of that of our God? How much he truly loves us. God so loved the world, he sent his only son. And when we truly see that that's our love story, that he is that treasure, that he is that pearl of great price. Not just he, but not just the presence of him, but a relationship with him. To see that, oh my gosh, I'm loved by my God. And he holds us in his hand. And that we are the beloved. And he is the lover who chases us and, and, and brings us back and tells us how much he truly loves us. So the question truly becomes for us to maybe to reflect upon even more deeply when we, just a few months ago, when we had no Mass, we could not come to Mass. Was your treasure taken away? Was your pearl of great price taken away? The Eucharist. The word of God being proclaimed. The body of Christ seeing your friends here. Coffee and donuts. Were any of those your pearl of great price? You were lost without them. The 
God willing? Your answer is no. That's not the pearl of great price. But they all lead to the pearl of great price. The treasure in the, in the field. The question truly is, that is, why do we come to Mass? Yes, we come to Mass to see our people, our, the body of Christ, to be a part of the body of Christ. Yes, we come to Mass to receive the Word of God, being heard, hearing it, and being proclaimed. And yes, we come to Mass to receive the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Christ in the Eucharist, to receive His presence. But it all leads to the ultimate love story. To be with the lover, our Father. Coming to Mass needs to be part of our love story. We're willing, ready to give up anything else to come to Mass. So that our relationship with the Father can grow. The Mass is not the treasure. The treasure is the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. This gives you a different look at our faith. To realize the past history of our, of, our, of our awesome church, all those saints who had to go without the Mass for so long for many different reasons, still had the treasure, still had the pearl of great price. It was a relationship, it was a love story. They knew how much. Father loved them. They knew that Jesus loved them so much that he died on the cross. That the Holy Spirit was with them no matter how long it had been since they'd been to Mass. And even in those dark moments, whatever that might be, being in prison, being, being taken away from their community, being taken away and, and removed from the Eucharist, removed from the Mass, they still knew that the Holy Spirit lived within them. They still knew that Christ died for them. They still knew that the Father loved them. The pearl of great price. The treasure buried in the field that no one else sees. Now don't get me wrong, I still want you to come to Mass next week. I hope it opens up the Mass for you a little bit more. I'm being fed by my fellow congregants, my fellow parishioners, my fellow Catholics, my fellow, my fellowship in the body of Christ. I'm being fed by hearing the word of God proclaimed. I'm being fed by the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Christ to receive this great treasure. This treasure, this pearl of great price. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. To lead me into a relationship. The Trinity invites me into a relationship. The Trinity is a relationship. It invites me to that relationship, and that becomes the pearl of great price. When we realize our faith is a love story, and that we are the one whom the lover is pursuing, we're ready to drop all of our other dreams and aspirations aside. Our house, our car, our retirement fund. To 
see that there's something greater than what we hold on to here on Earth. Something wonderful and beautiful when we truly open up our eyes, open up our ears to the words of God. Jesus puts it this way. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field where someone finds and hides it again. And out of joy, out of joy, goes and sells everything that they have and buys the field so that they can have that treasure. With joy, goes and sells everything. There's other moments in Scripture where Jesus talks about this. Go and sell everything. Give to the poor and then come follow. Out of joy. Out of joy. And truly, joy comes to know only we will have a joy when we truly understand that we are loved. That's why that joy is there. Because we know we're loved, and hence we have that joy. And we can see that the things that we have the possessions that we have don't bring us the joy that we thought it brought. But truly, this treasure, this treasure, this relationship within the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit gives us even much more joy than anything that we own. searching for a fine pearl, when they find it, it's the pearl of great price. Sells. Sells everything just to buy that one pearl. To change your life. A love story changes your life. And hence, the love story of my mom and dad. My dad fell in love and it changed his life. It changed my mom's life. It created me. So it definitely changed my life. But that's just a human love. Think of the Creator loving and how much more that changes your life. Think of scriptures, how much it changed the life of Peter, James, and John, how much it changed the life of Zacchaeus who climbed the tree, changed the life of the woman caught in adultery, changed the life of the woman with the well in John chapter 4. So our true question truly becomes for us, what changes your life? love of our God, the mercy of our God, <laughs> wanting us to grow closer to him, grow deeper into his love and mercy, his, his ocean of love and mercy, and rely upon it. With joy we go out and sell everything else that we have to know that we have what it truly is. To live within the Trinity, to live within a relationship with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we thank God for giving us the Mass, to proclaim, to bring us together, together as a faithful body, the body of Christ, to hear the words proclaimed, to receive the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Christ, to strengthen that love story. The pearl of great Christ treasure buried in the field. Our faith, our faith
faith in a God who loves us, who sees us as his beloved, his beloved children.